podcast. You're listening to episode 53. Everybody's got the giggles already. We, we ain't even started. <laughs> uh, we're here with Joshua Breed. Here. And we got a special guest, our video editor that we talk about all the time. <laughs> we have Cheryl Bell. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow. How is it? We'll start with uh we'll start with Cheryl. How, how are you doing today? Um, I'm good. I've done nothing today. I just what did I do? I woke up and I sat crazy. I was craving a um, salad from Chick-fil-A. I don't eat salad. I don't like salad at <laughs> all, but I was craving a Southwest chicken salad. So I went and got me one and I've been in a bed watching once upon a time until this moment. So nice. What, <laughs> I've been I've been pretty lazy too. We watched Harry Potter. Last night we we started the series. We've been uh, doing a lot of that, and that, that's pretty much it. We've been laying in bed and uh, watching Harry Potter. <laughs> it's fucking popping too. Uh, it's better than Twilight too. So there's that. That's there's that part 1, of it. Thousand percent. That's a fact. Well, we got a scrunched up face. <laughs> Harry Potter. <I> don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, if you like her, that's fine. I do. <laughs> she said, if you like that whack shit, it's fine. She do that, she do that cool all the time. Like, if you like that whack ass DC shit, I mean, yeah, that's you. <laughs> on, the, on the cool, I'm like, yeah, if you like it, I mean, but I'm not. A, I'm not at all. all right. I mean, I'm not so cap. I love Twilight. I do. I mean, but. No, yeah. How you feel about that Jacob song? <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Oh, I asked her. I asked her about that the other day about the how you felt about the Jacob, my Jacob rant. Most of it revolves around Bella. She the culprit. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's, culprit. it's always the white woman. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's a joke. Uh, See. Yeah, that was Bree that made that face. I didn't say nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm half white. <laughs> I'm half white. Keep me out of this. Uh, Bree, how, how things been going for you, bro? Man, uh, it's been good. Uh, I haven't done nothing. I've been, uh, what have I been doing? Cooking. Oh. A lot of cooking. Chef. I have been, lot, lots of cooking. Lots of cooking. Actually, I ain't haven't done that much cooking because my ankle is still out of commission from, mm. a, pick up, from a basketball game. So, uh, we didn't talk about this last podcast, did we? Did we talk about that? We didn't. Give, go ahead and give yourself a congratulations. You played yourself oh, and then tell man. everybody how you broke your ankle. I wish now, we had well, I was going <laughs> to clap because I thought you were going to say, like, congratulations, you won. Oh, my God. Like, no, yeah, like, give, give him a clap. Congratulations. I deserve that. Yourself, no, man. I deserve that hand because I straight up. Oh, dang, you on yeah. crutches. I'm on straight. Yeah, I'm on crutches. Uh, I'm down bad over here. That's crazy. Uh, I thought I was LeBron James. <laughs> Turned out I was like. I don't know who somebody trash. I'm not naming no names. I don't know who listens. To this. <laughs> <laughs> they can all kick my ass. You have a blast. But anyway, I was trash. I want to, man. I thought it was somebody. I ain't gonna tell you how old the kid was. I was playing. That just makes it that much worse. Well, I don't so, know who you like thought you were. Work. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who you thought you kid. were, but you're definitely Derrick Rose right now. I definitely Derrick Rose. I thought I was somebody else, but I was. Yeah, I went up for a rebound or whatever. And my ankle came down and touched the ground, and uh, Ooh, that was a done deal. <laughs> oh my that's, God. that's that's actually a good question for both of y'all. Well, let me ask Cheryl first. How do you feel at uh, at your age now, which we won't uh, get to the internet? But <laughs> how do you feel about jumping up and down? Do you still feel like you're at a good age where jumping up and down Ooh. isn't a? I, I'm at the point every time I run, my right ankle go up. Yep, yep. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. happening. It's <laughs> happening. I do, I do anything, I'll be out of breath. So I, always, I can't. If I have like adrenaline, no, not even. Never mind. No, <laughs> I, can't. no I can't be active at all. I, I think I see people at work like they'll run down the steps and jump, and I'm like, I can't. I cannot do that. To yeah, at 29, I can't do it. Uh, I mean, if my life depended on it, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, I, I want to ask Bree, but we're seeing right no, now. No, you can ask me. I'm well, what we see, I think we know the answer. We're, li- we're looking at that you can't. I look. legit felt like I was LeBron James out there playing basketball because the goal was a little, it was a little shorter than regulation, so I could dunk. I was out there doing windmills. And, you know, <laughs> but did you just not that athletic no more? <laughs> did you dunk at all? Did you get one dunking? Oh no, I dunked, and that's how okay. I hurt my ankle. The landing <laughs> was not smooth. The, the up was oh, a little good. The landing was, oh, ter- my it was God. horrible. 
Yeah. Have y'all seen the videos where they'll go up for a dunk? And they'll be talking some shit too. They'll go in there, they'll dunk on somebody, they're grabbing onto the rim, they let go with all that intensity, and leg just snaps all like oh. it's so bad. You've seen oh, some of those, huh? Seen You've never seen any of those? No, uh, no. Nah, nah. I tried I've it. Seen, I ain't never seen it. <laughs> I've seen this one video. I just recently recently saw this, I think this morning or last night. I don't know if it was real or not. I mean, I kind of laughed because it was just, but like, it looked like they were at, like, <laughs> they were at a ring. It was a basketball. It was like, like the low key wrestling, you know, like Ring of Honor. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Somebody okay. was standing on, um, the little rope thingy, and then he was doing something like this, and then he jumped off and both his legs hit. Oh, and then he felt he felt his legs start doing that. I was like, <laughs> I was like, chill, boy. Oh my I, God. Yeah, Rest- that was. That's yeah. That's, wrestling has some freak accidents. I try to. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I know Bree knows about the story. Cheryl might, but uh, I'm just assuming she doesn't. There was actually a wrestler named Owen Hart that died. Uh, they had him. He was supposed to come down from like the ceiling on a harness. Oh yeah. And it snapped. This is WWE, like oh. or WWF at the time. It snapped, and he went straight all the way down. I think he hit his neck on the rope and oh, yeah. killed him. Yeah. Yeah. It I didn't know. I had, had no yeah. idea. It was never on TV. Oh, it was on a pay per view, and it was the match before the show starts. So it was only for the people oh. in the arena. And so it was never like, yeah, there's no video, that's a, hopefully. That's a terrible way to start a pay per view. Yes. The rest <laughs> yeah, of the night has to be just. Sure, why the hell are you laughing? <laughs> the rest of the night has to be shit. God, no. you know what I'm saying? Bree, y'all gonna get this, y'all gonna get this canceled. Rest in, rest in peace to that man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. No, no, but really, rest in peace. But the rest of the no, but for really, what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about the pay per view. Okay, let's move on to something that's not going to get us in trouble. (laughs) We can't talk about shit on this podcast. (laughs) I'm a laugh. All right, let's jump over to Anthony's gaming corner. This is where the audio version (laughs) here, with the YouTube version here, is before my my segment starts. Uh, I don't have a lot for video games. I've lately I've been uh, taking taking care of my wife right now. I was going through some things, but. Uh, so I haven't been playing a lot of video games, but I have some video game news that I, I was listening to on a video game podcast, and it had me dying laughing. Uh, do you do you, either one of y'all know who Mike Lowry is? Um, yes. When you sent me the topic, I googled. And I oh, googled. okay. <laughs> bad boys, no, no. Yes, from that, Bree, did you Google too, or did you know when I sent? No, you? I already knew. I was okay. Bad boys. Yeah. I was listening to this podcast. They're talking about Mike Lowry being in Fortnite. All right, so majority, I mean, of course, there's adults who play Fortnite, but a lot of it is kids that play Fortnite. So they usually try to get characters. They've been doing a lot. Like, uh, they've had DC characters. They've had Marvel characters. Like, everywhere. They're getting, like, the biggest license name characters for these kids to play with on Fortnite, which I always thought was really cool. I think the only one I ever bought was Aquaman. But they have a lot of uh, cool characters. Uh, I also don't play the game enough to keep purchasing shit. But... uh, I was listening and they were talking about Mike Lowry. I said, that's weird. I don't know who the hell that is. So I'm thinking maybe it's like a new Disney character or something, because I don't watch like Disney or anything. I thought maybe there's a new Disney show or something, some kid shit that I don't know anything about. Uh, kind of like the, the the young girl who just came out as lesbian or bi. I don't want to get it wrong, but- uh, You about JoJo? Yes, I don't, like, I don't know much about her. Like I know she exists, but I, like, I couldn't even have told you her name. So I thought maybe it was something along those lines. And I'm listening to the podcast and they talk about how stupid this is because kids don't know who the hell this is. <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't know who the hell this is. So this is weird. And then they get to talk about bad boys. And I'm like, why? Would Will Smith, like all the options you had for a Will Smith character, you went to bad boys. That like, whose kids have seen bad boys? What? Oh, oh wait, wait. Because y'all might, oh, let, me, let me rephrase it. Because y'all probably seen bad boys. Huh? Yeah. I did I, I started it and cut it off. I, I didn't. I didn't like it. But were you seen it as a child too? I don't know how much of a child I was. Well, I guess whenever it came out, but yeah, I seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. I've been in my game for years. Okay. Yeah, my parents had the movies. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, my parents definitely watched the movies. Yeah. I, I would say our age area. All of us are close. All right. I know I'm 29. I look like the old guy, but we're all like close in a way. Like <laughs> I'm not ancient compared to you. So I would say like our little age, like 20s, I'm sure a lot of us have seen that as a child. But today's kids, oh, <laughs> who yeah. would have seen Bad Boy? Nobody. None of, none of them kids have seen Bad Boy. <laughs> Unless they grew up in the hood. 
<laughs> yeah, facts, facts, facts. facts. I, was a, I was a child watching uh, Boys in the Hood. I wasn't even born when it came out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Hood movies, we don't play about those. But I got to thinking, so then it made me sit down and just think about all the Will Smith, Will Smith characters, right? You had Hitch. How mm-hmm. did you miss Hitch? <laughs> Which would Hitch? have been more relatable. Uh, you've seen Hitch, right? The superhero movie that he did? That was Actually, Hitch. Hitch was the one where he, uh, he was the he, matchmaker. He, matchmaker. Yeah. And he got like a... Uh, was it J-Lo? Or was it? You think it was Hancock. Up? Hancock, that's what it is. Yeah. Hancock. Hancock, that's what it was. I was like, okay, I'm glad they didn't do Hitch. Yeah, <laughs> that Hitch been the, bad. That's a different one. Oh, <laughs> uh, you had Hancock. You had Independence Day. Will Smith would have been pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many kids today have seen it, but I mean, it's like... Him Even Men in Black. Men in Black would have been that perfect. Been one. That, that would have been the been one. one. Yeah. I thought of that one and the first one. What was the first one? Hancock. I think those two, Men in Black and Hancock, would have been perfect. And or, I Robot. I Robot. I, Rob, I, I, I Robot would be a good one. Uh, maybe even, what's the one where he's the last person alive? Pursuit of Happiness? No. I'm no. Oh, in the void, but. In the, in the, the in the day. No. What? <laughs> Wait, was he in the void? Uh-huh. In the void. He was, but he was definitely not the only person alive. Was it the one about day. the zombies? It was the one about the zombies. Yeah, I don't, about know, the, I, I don't know the name of it, though. I, yeah, we I were can't. just talking about things, I feel like. Man, what was the name of that? That's going to bother me. He was all, all right, alone, yeah. and he was it was see. zombies. Okay. I never watched the movie. Uh, we, Google. we got some Googles. It was a part of that stretch where he had iRobot, and he had I Am Legend. That's what it is. I, the, oh, I, am, legend. I am Legend. Yeah. Yeah, I, I am legend would have been acceptable. Or you got the Gemini seen, Man. I've never seen that. I don't know. What that's, that's the new. That's the new Will Smith. I ain't never seen. I've that. seen that one. That is a really good movie. It's really good. You see, would it make a good character for Fortnite? I don't know what yeah. it is. It would. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'll take that then. And then there was also Aladdin. The genie in Aladdin would have been. Oh, he could did Wild Wild West. Oh, yeah, but how many? I wonder how many. That would be a perfect character. I just wonder country, how many. Country guy, yeah. What is it, it would it would work. I would I would feel like today's kids wouldn't know what it is though. But the character itself would yeah. be cool. The character just, would work though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or like final one is you could have just done Will Smith and just named him yes. Will Smith. You could have just did yes. Will Smith. Yes. Yeah, because <laughs> all these characters are just Will Smith with additional outfit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what if you did Will Smith with a bunch of different skins? Like you can unlock all the different skins for the Will Smith. Oh, movies. You can, yeah. you can do Fresh Prince. You can do a Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince would have been, been a better pick than what they did. Live. Yeah, yeah. Anything would have been Prince. better than Bad Boys. <laughs> and why the hell did you got Martin Lawrence? <laughs> why did you Bad Boys out of all the movies he got? It's so mm, I don't know right, who that was. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't either. I had no clue. Even if I watched that movie all the way through, I wouldn't have remembered his name was Mike Lowry. It's just not a memorable name. <laughs> <laughs> That's some wild shit. But yeah, Fortnite, y'all got to get it together, man. There's so and like Will Smith, even as big as Will Smith is, that's such a random thing to do for like all the kids' things that exist right now. That was yeah. such a weird place. <laughs> to go. Maybe they're trying to keep him in touch with the culture. That's it. I don't know. I'm always down for that. <laughs> I'm always down for that. All right. Well, that's it. That's all I got for Anthony's Game in Corner. A little bit of Fortnite news. And, uh, shoot. I'm trying to think if there was anything else really important game wise, but I'm thinking not. So we'll leave it there. If so, we'll come back to it next week. So that's Anthony's uh, Game in Corner. But thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Shout out to the coach. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to the coach. Shout out to Fortnite. Uh, you got any Twitch updates for us? Just for, just for us asking. Oh, yes. Yeah. So Twitch, like I said, I'm, I'm dealing with some things with my wife right now, so I'm going to be out until possibly next week. Uh, I want to say next Wednesday. Uh, right now we're doing – my stream right now are going to be Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. Um, I'm hoping to start that back next week sometime. Uh, it'll, it'll be information that goes as, as we go. But I'll be having that information up on Twitter – at Anthony's kind of nerdy, or if you're in the Discord, y'all know the, all the announcements uh, that I post in there. Uh, but yeah, we'll get we'll try to get back on uh, Twitch next week. By the time y'all hear this, it will be this week. But here we go. <laughs> this week, Wednesday. What is it? Fifteenth Wednesday. Uh, what month are we in? September. September fifteenth yeah. should be the next uh, stream if everything goes well. So that's the that's the Twitch news. 
Also, for those who were there in the last stream, Mass Effect fucked up on us. <laughs> so I cannot get past that part. Yeah, we hit that glitch and uh, we hit a glitch. The screen's going black. And when I continue the story, we were right at the end of it. Uh, Bree told me not to save that racist girl. I did. And this is what I get for yeah. thinking, oh, thinking with my dick. Shut down. <laughs> thinking with my dick. Got the story, bro. Oh, she's <laughs> the one, the girl that was racist against the aliens? Yes, 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 yes. You had a, <laughs> you had an option. Should have went got your girl, your homegirl. I know. You had an option. Chilling to, over there. You had an option to save her or to save uh, your homeboy. You have to choose. Guys, like, it's either that or your fucking aliens on the ship. Like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, I, I thought with my dick, all right? We can't be in space with, with nothing out there, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I don't know. We, we did our best, and I got a congratulations. I played myself. So, uh, I don't know. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe watching uh, a, a gameplay video on stream with everyone, and we can finish it out that way. We can at least see the story, and then we'll hop into Mass Effect 2. Uh, and we'll try to find a different love interest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, off of Twitch, we got some uh, we got some good topics tonight. We're going to be talking. We're going to start out with uh, what we start out with. We're going to talk about. Do you, what do y'all want to start? You want to talk? Y'all want to start with booty calls, or do y'all want to start with sitting with Jay Z? Please start with Jay Z because I'm so ready to choose the money. <laughs> I'm so ready to choose the money over Jay Z. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start with Cheryl because she looks like she, she looks like she's ready. All right. So I've been going through Twitter. I didn't even know this was a thing until the other day. I've been going through Twitter, but everybody's talking about would you rather sit with Jay Z or take five hundred thousand dollars? So Cheryl's. <laughs> you, you let me get to her. <laughs> I was like, go ahead. <laughs> so, all right. All right. Tell us why you'd rather have the five hundred thousand dollars. I don't know because it's money and what is Jay Z going? Well, for one, I've never liked Jay Z. I don't actually, this is bad. This is bad. You should never not have a reason to not like somebody. <laughs> I don't have a reason. <laughs> this well, is when not... I look at him, I get so mad. But I don't condone it. Uh, our podcast won't be on title. <laughs> it's your old burn that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't condone uh, her. <laughs> yeah, I personally like Jay-Z. Jay-Z, if you need us to get a new video editor, we can definitely get a new video. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all can't be talking so reckless on you. <laughs> I'll be forgetting that. In one podcast, in one podcast, Bree has upset the WWE community who can kick all of our asses. He almost pissed off some basketball players. And now, he will not be signing us the title. Uh, Spotify, Spotify, what's up? <laughs> Checking them off the list, man. Just checking them off. Burn every bridge this episode. <laughs> Y'all want to piss off Disney next? <laughs> Y'all want to get me started on um, Wall? No, Walt that's okay. Over there back that's the okay. Day. I'm sure Who's Cheryl. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. You, y'all can fuck with them. We're not going to be on there anyways. Uh, I'm sure Cheryl thinks Jay Z is a great human being. She's just not very into the music. <laughs> I'm. Just, let me put it this way. I'm just not a fan. I would rather have money than sit with because. Unless Jay Z's gonna give me more than five hundred thousand, I'll sit with him. But I'd rather have money than sitting with somebody I don't know. They're trying. I've seen people for real take the Jay Z's gonna put you up on game, and it's like, bro, it. No, he he, he, he is had. stupid. Do you guys know who Memphis Bleak is? Either one of y'all. Cheryl didn't know who NWA is, so I know she doesn't know Memphis Bleak. <laughs> but, no. Brie, do you know who Memphis Bleak is at all? Uh, I think I've heard of Memphis Bleak uh, verse two in my life. Damn, I was asking this question. I feel like I'm burning another bridge. Uh, Memphis Bleak <laughs> has been Jay-Z's right-hand man for the longest. And uh, the only reason these two don't, aren't familiar with Memphis Bleak like that is because they're not a hardcore hip-hop fan. So we're not saying Memphis Bleak ain't shit and that nobody knows who he is. <laughs> so if Memphis Bleak somehow hears this, <laughs> don't, come, don't come for me. <laughs> Memphis Bleak is definitely a street dude. And he's more than a rapper, so I'm definitely not getting on that. <laughs> he's like, but he's yeah, he's not to be played with. So uh, Memphis Bleak has been his right hand man forever. I mean, he does rap, and uh, that's been his right hand guy forever. But if Memphis Bleak has been sitting and eating with Jay Z for years since the '90s, and he's not on Jay Z's level, you sitting and having one dinner with Jay Z is not going to get you on that level. So I'm with Cheryl. I'm taking the five hundred thousand. 
Well, say he's not on Forbes from that dinner yeah. he had the other day. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the multiple dinners that he's had with Jay Z. Where are you at with this, breed? Would you want the dollars um, from Jay? No, nah, um, man, I think he would be ashamed of me for taking the meat and not the money. So I'm going <laughs> for the money for sure. Uh, I don't know what he gonna do for me besides buy me a meal, and he might not even do that. He Maybe might not. make me pay. If you do the, so if you do the, the eat with him, you have to pay for all your own stuff. The money only comes if you take the five hundred grand. I'm definitely not going to the <laughs> JCB because he won't. Exp- he he ain't no cheat day. He he gonna you about to come out of pocket. I feel uh, like pay for something he want. Exactly, and I also feel like knowledge is such. I don't like to give advice to people who one don't ask for it. And two aren't on the same journey I'm on. Like, yeah. um, somebody can ask me for some for some life advice. Let's say like relationship advice. My relationship is different from other people's relationships. Y'all know me from how y'all talk to me. Y'all have heard the podcast. I'm a free like, yo, do you do it? Make sure I'm not a check your phone person. I'm not a, like you're allowed to have men as friends. I have women that are friends. Like, I'm. It's not. I'm not that old toxic shit you know what i'm saying like I, i'm the king of the house and what i say I, I, i've never been that guy so my relationship advice would be so much different from somebody else's like so i try not to ever give advice to somebody without being like this is how i do things uh yeah. if i were you if somebody said would you rather get relationship advice from anthony or five hundred thousand i would tell you bro take the five hundred thousand please take the money i'll fuck your whole Me relationship <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, no, let her have men friends. It's perfectly normal. And then you fuck around and get cheated on. So, I mean. Now, all her men friends are beating her back out. Damn. You and now you have to do the test. <laughs> that went Should have took the money. That went <laughs> Well, hey, well, we say this every time. This is a little bit off topic, we I do. guess. <laughs> but <laughs> we say this every time that we need a woman uh, perspective on here sometimes. How do you personally feel if uh, you was in a relationship with somebody and they had women friends? Um, I per- if you've already been this person friend, and if y'all been friends forever and stuff like that, if you've been friends with this, per- with this person before me, I don't care at all. Uh, me personally, if you trying to, if you going on like a new female friend, like for what? But like, <laughs> then me, I'm like, why do you need? other friends <laughs> i be doing that all the time on twitch <laughs> what did drake say no new friends he said no, no, no new friends <laughs> uh, but like if i could tell that the, it's different because if it's a random person say you're going out to the grocery store and the girl come up to you and she want to be a friend absolutely not no for what but if like we're in this <laughs> but if we're in like a <laughs> thing <laughs> no <laughs> girl's toxic <laughs> what if she wants to want to be friend? <laughs> Women and men can't be friends in 2021. <laughs> I was like, it's just like for what? Why? It's like why? That's why I'm like, why do you for what? But it's like if we're out somewhere where there's a group of friends and some people that we never met and they want to like, I don't care. But like, I was gonna say some people. All right. So what if you had a what if you were in a relationship and the dude works with somebody, a new girl gets on and. They have this sounds well a lot in common, but not in a relationship way, but just like same interest and things like that. Like that's like his work friend. Like, oh hey, did you watch whatever show oh, yeah. last night? I don't mind that. That's nothing. I don't that because I mean you actually work with the person, so right. Me, I don't that doesn't bother me. It's just like we out in public and then it's I don't know, that's just weird because if you think about it, like if I'm walking up to a man. In public, I'm not trying to walk up to no man. Just all like, oh, I'm seeing this dude. I just want to be his friend. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. So it's crazy. I, yeah. So if a girl coming up to my man and just randomly like, oh, I want to be your friend, it's like it's questionable. Yeah, yeah. That that part, yeah, that part, I can understand. Wild. You would have to be in a situation <laughs> where you would meet a friend. Yeah, like if you're in a situation where you just happen to meet somebody, blah, 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 blah. okay, I'm not gonna be like, no, don't talk to her because. Like, yeah, I think I think we're all kind of on the same page because there's also the respect boundary of like even when you have friends, it's like I mean I wouldn't go out. Oh, we've actually had this conversation. I think me and Bree both agreed that we don't. I don't think that would be that mad, but I can see where uh, somebody would be like, I don't want y'all going out to eat by yourselves. Uh, but I feel like I don't. I feel like we did. I feel, no, I felt like we said that we'd be okay. Did you not say that? 
I don't know. What was the scenario? <laughs> I could have I, I sworn you did, but we were talking about like, would we be upset? Like if we, if our girlfriend uh, had a, had a guy friend that they've known forever, like before you and they're like, yo, can we go get something to eat? And they go get dinner together. I don't think I would be mad about that. Yeah. I, I think that'd be cool. I guess. I don't know. Dudes be true. I can say personally from my personal experience, I have a guy friend. Like we're really close friends. Like he has a girlfriend. His girlfriend knows me. And like when I go back to net, he'll be like, Hey, let's go out for lunch. And I'll be like, Okay, does your girl I'll say her now like, does your girl know? Like, did you ask her and this and that? Did you tell her? But she doesn't she doesn't mind because she knows I don't want him and we've been friends. Right. She's just, and sometimes she asks, she's like, Oh, are you and Cheryl gonna go out today? Or are you and you know, it's possible. Because I'm not sexually attracted to him in any way, shape, or form at all. And that's important um, what you just said because I think most people don't realize. Everybody don't think that your boy or your boyfriend or your girlfriend is sexually attractive. Yeah. You are not a good <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's super underrated. Uh, but okay, we got a little off topic, but uh, <laughs> nobody here wants to eat dinner with Jay Z. <laughs> we'll take the five hundred dollars. I'll take them. Yeah, easy. Give me my money. Yeah. Speaking of Jay Z, it made me think about Kanye West. Uh, which I do just want to speak for me. I have to listen to that album since <laughs> that came out. And I'm not even a, a gospel music dude. I know that that's different for everybody. Everybody does not consider that gospel. I clearly understand that. But I'm not a, a big listen to a lot of music about Jesus. But I've been bumping that shit. But uh, I was going through Twitter. I don't know if y'all seen this. What? Did you just shit on Jesus music? <laughs> oh, no, no. See what I'm talking about? Now you're trying to burn my bridge with God. I did not say that. <laughs> Bree, how often do you run around? No, no. So if we went there, how often do you sit in your house and play gospel music? Why don't you tell, why don't you tell us? Um, if I'm being honest, about every three songs, there is a Jesus song that pop on. Dang, that's wild. So. All right, Cheryl, tell us. <laughs> Cheryl's like, no, nah, Cheryl don't get on here a lot either. She partying every other day. How many parties you going to when they listen to the gospel? I mean, to be fair, it's not often, often, but I do. I mean, I sing it a lot, but I don't really listen to it a lot. Like, I'll be in my apartment just randomly start singing the gospel song. I do that almost every day, but listening is rare. Like, yeah, I don't listen yeah. to it every day. I'm, I'm going to admit. How you like that, yeah. Brad? This nigga trying to burn my bridge with God. <laughs> I was just trying to see what you said. I was just trying to get some clarification. I didn't know. <laughs> I listen to Kanye. I know I'm gonna make it there. That boy said Donda. Shit, all right. Okay, no, but I was going through Twitter, and um, did y'all see the screenshots from the text message where he fired somebody? Yes. Um, I'm not aware. <laughs> He said in the text message, the dude, oh my God, the dude, this is some of the coldest shit ever. He, somebody would that work with him uh, was supposed to be up at a certain time to come to the studio or whatever they were doing. I'm not really sure what job they were doing. He does fashion too. So I don't, I don't really know what it was about, but he was supposed to be there at a certain time, but the dude overslept and Kanye texted him and told him you're fired. <laughs> and the dude texted was like, yo, I'm sorry, I put an alarm, but somehow it didn't go off. And he like put all these paragraphs. And Kanye put, stop texting me. And then told him, go find God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and said, and what are you telling me when you find, go find God and then come back? <laughs> yo, how you aggressively tell somebody to go find God? Man, you go find God. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, I was like, yo, Kanye is really off his rocker. Bro, this is really crazy, bro. He He's is. Just... Dude, I was um, like I said, I I love the album, man. The music is beautiful. <laughs> but Lena, <laughs> Lena let me listen to it. I was like, I was by, but I loved it. She knew I loved it. She told me a little later, she said, I can't lie. The whole album gives me like creep feeling. Like, I guess the uh we are so far off topic, but she was feeling like I want to. I don't want to say satanic, but mm. chanty, like yeah. And people felt that way about the Donda intro, which I don't know if you heard the the Donda intro, but um, he's basically just saying like Donda, Donda. It sounds like a chant, 
but it's for, and this is why I hate, Brie knows I hate conspiracy theory so bad because people are like, oh my God, listen to this chant. But it was the heart, the sound of the heartbeat before his mom passed away. And so it's like some real shit to this guy. Like his mother's dead. And through the whole album, you can hear how bad. I was listening to one song he's talking about his mom and you can hear the voice crack. So obviously it's still bothering him. I'm just like, what? Y'all are putting demons and shit on this dude. And it's for his mom. It was her last heartbeat. But Lena gets that vibe from the entire album. Mm. I was like, I don't don't know. It's (laughs) it's dope. It's dope. (laughs) Bree, do you want to say anything about Drake? (laughs) Did you want to say something about Drake? Certified lover boy, one thousand percent. I had to get that out. Man, uh, it's a pretty good album. I had to get that out because I know he was ready to shit on some Kanye shit. So I was like, go ahead. I'm not gonna shit on Kanye. (laughs) I like that. That was a. It was cool. You did. I was gonna. You know what? I meant to ask you that because you liked the last gospel album we put out, and I meant to ask you how you felt about Donna. I was like, I listened to it, and I was like, this sounds so beautiful. Like, I like, I know Breed is enjoying this. Oh, uh, it was a couple songs on there. I like, I like the uh, when they got towards the end. I think it was Jesus part. Jesus Lord, like that. Jesus Lord. Jesus Lord. Oh it my was, that God, was that's another one. Other than that, was all right. I didn't. I, 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 to be honest, I really haven't went back and listened to Donda like that. Uh, oh since the first list that I read through it, I really haven't went back and listened to them. So it, it's so it was a good it was a good uh two weeks of music because the uh, it's been a good year because Jay Cole's but the Drake album was really good too. That's the first Drake album that I've enjoyed to that to wow. that level. And I, I really I really liked it. I've been listening to that since it came on. I feel like I play that about every day. I don't even feel right now uh, getting at least one certified level boy song in. <laughs> the certified gotta get at least one Drake. Gotta get at least one in before Oh, I feel right with my dad. Well, let's get a woman's perspective. How do you feel, Cheryl, about the name Loverboy, him being light skinned with a heart in his head and screaming Loverboy? <laughs> Why you hate Oh, me? so that's what's that about. I've been seeing um <laughs> Snick me trying to get her to shit on him. <laughs> Take a few minutes to shit on Drake real quick. That's another one. Like, the OVO. I've uh I rarely be I be seeing that stuff, but I re- I it's at this point, so these celebrities out here doing everything. It's a point I just I'm just like, y'all just be wanting attention. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, like, it is a game of attention. Sure. <laughs> I'm it just is. like, because I didn't even know that's what that was. I just knew that he got that um, heart on his head. Yeah. And I, I didn't pay. I just said, like, oh, okay, you got a little haircut. Okay. Uh, can we get Bree to get a heart on his head for the podcast? To be honest, I, I planned on doing that. I just didn't get to the to the barber, so I got a hat on instead. <laughs> that you was the next move. You definitely got to do that. If you do that, um, I don't know if you Kanye gotta has. Donda. You got to get Donda on your chest. I'll get tattooed. I'll get Donda tattooed on my neck. <laughs> Donda. If um, if you do that, I'll do some chance on the bug. What? Keep your chance. <laughs> All right, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's move on. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right. Next up is not kidding. This is serious. My booty call setups. <laughs> All right, right. So I was randomly, this is how my mind works. I was randomly just sitting, sitting at home. And across my mind, I was thinking about no, somebody I, uh, I was randomly sitting at home going through Twitter and somebody put that they were tired. Like uh no, they said they put that they, yeah, it was that they were tired. And it reminded me of back when I used to get on Twitter at late night and put, I can't sleep. <laughs> looking, looking for the ones who also couldn't sleep. Uh, <laughs> it was like, the, yes. All right, Bree, let's, let's ask you first. Uh, Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> let's get you in trouble. <laughs> did you, up, did you ever set thirst traps? Were you into that kind of thing? <laughs> um, honestly, I don't think I was ever good at setting thirst traps. I didn't know how to properly uh, solicit myself. Well, this is perfect, though. Did like you attempt? I mean, y'all would try, but that was lame. I, my shit was lame. <laughs> <laughs> my shit was lame, bro. We're using social media to set a thirst trap. Nah. lame no matter who you are. We all did it at some point. No, nah, my go-to line was, uh, what you thinking about? Oh, Ooh. that was it. That's all I had for you. Did you, you put it on social page? media? Hey, or, no, they weren't about to talk about me. I didn't have wait. no game and I knew it. So that, <laughs> no. Oh, I, I did, bro, I did not either. It was, it was, was that a direct message to somebody? Or yeah, just, bro, that was, a, that was a text message. Just right. Okay, so it's like, let's set the scene. It's yeah. like, it was about like 10 30. 10 30. Yeah, okay. 10 30. You, yeah. you hit somebody with the, uh, what are you thinking about? 
Yeah, what's on your mind? Did she say that? Usually no. Okay. Usually I didn't get a reply until the next morning. (laughs) Then was like, I guess. It's only funny because it happens to all of us. It's not a laugh and breathe. I've definitely set up things that didn't go through the way it was supposed to. But when it oh, works, yeah, oh my God. Beautiful moments. Um, <laughs> my, my, we can we <laughs> definitely put the what you're thinking about. Sure, has anybody hit you with the what you're thinking about? Uh, I think now people are just really blind. <laughs> yeah. every, every dude that has ever said or done anything with me, this is what, why do y'all, I mean, I don't know if y'all specifically do this. Well, if y'all both are. I probably have. Me. But like, no, yeah, like I maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> you say maybe I'm probably, <laughs> could y'all explain this to me? Because this is most dudes when they say this stuff to me. And I'm just like, um, I show that I'm not interested. But they automatically, because I'm not a hoe. I'm not going to sleep with nobody. I'm not doing that's not me. Right. But they will say stuff like, oh, like, I can't wait to see you making me want to do. They will list exactly every single thing that they wanted to do and i'd be like bro i was like no i'm not into that like i'm like you know i want to get to know the person i was like i'm doing that with somebody so be my man and then they straight up been so offended like i'm not even that type of person i'm not a hoe and nobody trying to do all that and it that's literally what it goes so i'm like bro yeah, bro. yeah i was, I was <laughs> thinking that too i was like i shouldn't have said that i probably yeah I'm, yeah since i, I was young that one. i know <laughs> no <laughs> No man, no. No me, like, yeah, yeah. No me, no. Yeah. I've never been that guy. I yeah. take back what I said. <laughs> me too. Yeah. Yeah. I take rejection that's, hard. I talk. Yeah, I walk away. <laughs> you know, that's every dude that has ever, and they still today still at it. I'm like, bro. It's, I told one dude, I straight up just like, no, like, cause nothing else is working. And he was like, you know, I've been trying for two years. I was like, you, you go keep trying. That's I was like, congratulations. No. You yeah, I was like, yourself, you're wasting your time. Buddy. <laughs> That's nasty. I was like, you're wasting your time. I was like, no. He was like, oh, like well, you're going to be like that? And he has not missed a few chance. I was like, That's all it took for me to just to be like, bro, like, stop asking. Yeah. That's I don't crazy. understand how I don't I never understood how people got mad if somebody told them no. That would that just that just never. That's what I'm But I wouldn't take it out <laughs> on you. I wouldn't be like, you mother. Yeah. Yeah. That. yeah, that's a little. Yeah, that's that's, much. yeah that's, that right there is stupid. It's a it's a lot of dudes who one were raised the wrong way. They think uh, that a lot a lot of men. We're getting deep now, but there's a lot of men who are raised that yo the man is this, the woman is this. This is mm-hmm. how life is, and a lot of men can't understand why yo I'm the man. I said I like you. This is what it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be with me. Like they can't handle rejection because they were never taught that that shit happens. And yeah. yo, you're that dude. They're supposed to be with you, which is why uh, we're definitely not gonna get this dark. But it leads to all kind of bad things because they can't deal with rejection. They can't deal with this person doesn't want you. Yo, I've been told no since I was a child. So I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like it was something I was yeah. like, damn. You, hey, you win some, you lose some, and then you and you move forward. You know. Uh, but yeah, it's some it's some sick dudes out here for sure. Uh, we've talked about on this podcast about. I can't even imagine women's DMs. Uh, <laughs> Filthy. I've seen Twitch streams. I've seen Twitch streams. Y'all know I'm friends with um. I grew up around women, so I I have a lot of male friends, and I have a lot of women friends. But a lot of my male friends aren't on some toxic bullshit. I mean, that's like one. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to my hitter. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. He's, he's, gonna, he's gonna hear that. It's a joke. Uh, oh, wait, I always fuck with him. But uh, yeah, a lot of like a lot of my friends aren't on that on that type of time. Like I don't kick it with dudes that are even on that type of time. Like anytime dudes was weird around us, like I never stuck around with with those type of people. Like you don't want to be around people that make women uncomfortable. It's, it's weird for everybody. Um, yeah, but yeah, dudes, dudes will be, dudes are a little sick, and there's a lot that needs changing in, in uh, the way men are raised. Uh, I don't know. That's just I'm gonna say my personal opinion. Uh, but as far as the creepy shit, y'all need to cut that. That's not an opinion. Y'all need to cut that creepy shit out. Like, no means no. They're not. They're not into you. Uh, you just gotta go step your game up. Maybe dress a little flyer. Uh, yeah, get a haircut. Fix your personality. Brush your teeth. Yes, you would have so much more. Uh, you would have more luck. access. 
Yeah. Oh. That, well, well, no, not X. You would have more. You would well, stand such a better chance. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. You would stand <laughs> such a better chance if you like. The blunt thing is cool to let it be known, like, yo, this is what I'm into. I always believe if you're going to talk to somebody, like, yo, I'm not really looking for a relationship, but if you're down for sex, like, I'm down for that too. Like, do, or like Cheryl said, like, yo, I'm not into any of that. I'm waiting for somebody special that I want to do those things with. All of that, just be blunt and honest about what you want. But when you start, like, yo, I'm trying to shove my dick down your throat, it's like, bro, she don't know you like that. Like, it's a, it's crazy. a weird, yeah, it's a weird. That's a wild sentence yeah. it takes. But wow. people do it. People it's do crazy it. crazy ass sentence. People <laughs> do it. I'll be, I can tell you, yes. That yeah. does all this. So, and now I just, I'd be so tickled. I'm not the type of female that I just get so, I'm like, oh, I can't believe. I'd be laughing. <laughs> and I'd be telling my sisters about it and stuff like that. And I'm like, but guess what this person said to me? Can I just, uh, I just want to tell y'all one story. <laughs> just so I get that glimpse into my life. All right. So uh, this, I think it was a couple of weekends ago, I went to this uh, party in Nacogdoches. So I'm sitting down, minding my business. This is where my head was pink. And uh, my friend walked out to talk to somebody. So this dude come up to me and sit down next to me. My, he was musty for one. Like, if you're going to come try to hit me, I'm hot. <laughs> don't, come correct. don't be he musty. musty. <laughs> but he was... Mm, but I'm like, I'm not going to be mean. So I just, you know, like, so he looked at me. He was like, hey, um, I saw your hair and I had to look twice. You're beautiful. I was like, okay, thank you. Da, 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 da. Oh, and so yeah. he was, <laughs> and so he was like, uh, he asked for my Snapchat and I was like, okay, whatever. So I gave him my Snapchat. He was like, so here's how it don't go down. <laughs> I was like, man, he was like, so <laughs> what I got to do is, he was like, I got to send He's like, because I, I got a girlfriend. I got to send my girl your snap so she can approve of you so we all three can do stuff together. And I was like, <laughs> I was oh, like, man. this can't be real. I was, this is the first conversation. And right after the Snapchat changed, he was like, so if you down, I was like, I'm sorry, I'm not into that, but thank you. He's like, okay, well, you got my Snapchat, so if you ever change your mind. <laughs> I was like, it's not going to well, happen. But. That, and that's, that's crazy, but the part of it, he, I mean, the way he talked, was kind of wild, right? <laughs> but I will say he was honest and he told you he had a exactly. girlfriend and he was like, yo, this exactly. is what we're into. It's just weird that you would get all that out on one, like, yo, sit down, like, the yo, first, the first what's happening. Week. Yeah. <laughs> as yeah. soon as the Snapchat was given, he was like, all right, so I got to send your snap to my girl so she can approve of you. So we all could do stuff together. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. And that's awkward to even say to somebody because like, what if, what if you're like a girl, uh, like there's some random girl, and then the girl doesn't approve, and then like, what do you tell her? Like, yo, she she thought you were keep whack. Like, never make the cut. It's such like an awkward thing that like you, you gotta find a better yeah, you gotta find a better way to you gotta find a better way to get that out there. I don't, I don't know how many people we just came across in it. I don't know. I was not trying to get the history. I just was like, please, because for one, my nose was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> that's why yo y'all gotta yo man y'all gotta y'all gotta come correct man yeah he did he tried to run the triangle off. <laughs> like i said it, i mean it, sometimes if if that's what you would your relationship be like i said i, I don't get that i mean that's, mm-hmm. that's people do that i have friends who do that uh but you have to <laughs> There's definitely a way that you go about. It. He was close. Oh. He was close by admitting, like telling you the truth. Like, yo, this is exactly. what we're doing. He like, just did don't it. let that be the first sit down. Like, yeah, yeah. You can't just sit yeah. down and tell somebody that. You come yeah, back and had, try it. We ain't had no type of conversation. No, <laughs> y'all. Who are y'all? Right okay. to that. <laughs> how, how how would you have felt if the girl if the girlfriend was there and it was almost more like a like a hitting on you would you i don't know how like would you respect it more if they sat down together and was like yo this is what we're into and we're just wondering if you were into that i probably still... end up laughing, laughing while they was talking because i'm like whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a wild thing to say no matter how you do it i'm just uh-huh, mean like exactly. the, the approach would you have respected it more than coming up and sitting down just like yo this is what we're into give me your snapchat i'm gonna tell her show her you <laughs> as like, I mean, I, I, honestly i probably would have looked at it differently if the girl was there and be like hey you know this you know i mean it all well either approach would be like oh, okay but like it all yeah. comes down to like he don't he just was straight like 
or like if they came down had um had a little conversation i mean they would have let me know I'm like okay still yeah. decline but i feel like it would have been more respectful if they did it. yeah like, oh the way old dude did it yeah, yeah. that was yeah or if you are going to do it alone like like i said you like it just felt like it should have been a conversation that happened gradually over time but you would have liked would you have liked to have known from the beginning that he had a girlfriend because I feel like oh, that's what yeah. makes it hard. Yes, that's what makes it hard. Is if he didn't tell you that, but he gradually told you over time, it definitely would have been a, a problem too. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know. Maybe I, mean, I guess there's no way to. <laughs> just no way to. Do yeah, there's it. no way. There's yeah. no way to know. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if if I was in the situation where I did that to somebody, I feel like I would have. Um, I would have left out the part about. I'm gonna send her your snap to see if she approves. So that's that's not, that yeah. sounds wild. Uh, that's, yeah, I probably would have left that part out. Uh, like, I probably would have just had like a normal conversation because nobody's gonna catch feelings within the first however many minutes of talking. And it's like, yo, just so you know, I do have a girlfriend, and uh, we're in it's this. This is wild. Mean. It's hard to do this because, like, it's hard to do that if you would never be in the situation. Like, mm-hmm. I, I would never put myself in that situation because it's just not my thing. But I'm just trying to see how you would do it respectfully for the people who are into yeah, that. You should be like, this is a. Uh... Yeah, whoop the whoop. This me and my yeah. girl. This how we get down. We also don't have no. We trying to see so. if you want to get down. <laughs> really? Because he straight up was just like, "Here, how's it gonna go down?" I'm like, "Dang!" Like I. He started like, kind of smooth though. Like he came bold. Like I like I, if I was talking to a girl just one on one without all that shit being involved, I'd be like, "Yo, this is how it's going down. I'm gonna put give you my phone. You put your mm-hmm. number in it. And if she says no, then you just gotta eat that and you'd be like, damn. Yeah. But you came with confidence. You was feeling yourself, and it was just like, it don't be going good. Yeah, don't be hey. disrespectful. But it shows like you know you're bold. Like, hey, this is what's good. sometimes that could be funny and shit too. Yeah, uh, but I show pickle because even right before he came, <laughs> even before he kept talking, he was a, a dude. Who came and sat down randomly next to me and put his arm around me and just started running his mouth. And I just was just talking and then he got up. And then that's when that other dude came in. First he asked, Hey, was that your boyfriend? And I was like, No, nah, I don't know that man. Yeah. And then he was like, That's when he went into his little conversation. That's what's Whoa. weird. Go ahead. Oh no, that was just me saying conversation. Oh. <laughs> what's weird is I, I'm sure Breed can can uh say the same thing here. I've no matter how drunk I've ever been, I've never been a walk up to a girl that I've barely know put my arm around her like whisper near have a conversation and i've i've never been like there's been people that i know personally like i know what our relationship is i know how cool we are so i might come over it same thing i would do with my boys like if i was drunk as hell and brie was around i might throw my arm around like yo bro and just talk some nonsense y'all know me i'm known for start rapping out of nowhere at a fucking party so like yeah yeah it is crazy i don't do that shit (laughs) (laughs) but just walking around to like a girl that i don't know and just like back when I was single and I was at parties, like I would talk to girls, but it was never like I walk up to a random girl and just throw my arm around. Like, yeah. I don't understand how at any point, no matter how drunk you are, that you don't understand a line that's crossing into creepy and annoying. Like, I don't, I've never been drunk enough that I didn't understand that. Don't come over here acting like that. <laughs> no, nah, that ain't never been my swag. I ain't going to say I ain't got drunk and attempted to pursue a girl. And oh yeah. What? thousand percent. Too far. Yes. I almost got beat up before. Oh bad. shit! Want to share? Or is that? <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 no, we can share. Oh, uh, this was this was high school. I think I was. What well, I had to be a freshman or whatever. It was some graduate. It was a uh, prom after party, and I was showing up. I got way too drunk. I think it was my first time ever drinking. So I was DDT. I was in that joint everywhere. First drinking time is always rough. What? It was super rough, man. Apparently, I don't know who it was. I can't even remember the girl. <clears throat> I can't remember what girl it was. But uh, but I was talking to her boyfriend, and I was like, "Man, your girlfriend looks really nice, bro. Oh, like shit. really <laughs> nice, <laughs> yeah, bro." And apparently, my brother had to come grab me because homeboy was just about to just whoop my drunk ass. I remember I this story. <laughs> oh my god, my bad, Playboy. Then I had to wake up the next morning. Then I had to apologize for all this shit. I was like, "Man, I didn't even know half of this went down." That's so, wow. Yeah. I've never been that bold. <clears throat> I have. Oh, it was a little sketchy. I was yeah, good, I, boss. <laughs> yeah, no, you're savage. Brisa, I'll do it today. You won't do shit about it. <laughs> no, nah, I can't. You can't do it today. Well, if, I'm at, if it was a different situation. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. We got nah, so far. Be off topic. Uh, <laughs> we got so far off topic. Uh, teaching these guys how not to be nasty. But um, 
Let's let's get into the booty the booty call hall of fame. So we we just Whoa. threw breeds we threw breeds in there, which was what are you doing at ten thirty at night? No, what are you hey, thinking about? It. What you thinking about? What's on All right, your mind? on times that it did work, what did they say? Because I feel like that's you. The, the easy answer is to say you or me in that. In this okay, so you would you would get like a yeah. you. you. Okay. If it's a oh, if the okay is is you, then I'm like, all right, it's go time me. So it never really got too wild. Never got too wild. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how to get too. No, nah, I never got too wild. Blair. I've said I've said some shit up that got a little wild. Well, we're definitely not going to share it on here, <laughs> but I've yeah. definitely been known to like. On this was back when we were using early Snapchat. I didn't use Instagram stories so way later, but Snapchat and uh Facebook. <laughs> Facebook and Snapchat were the two that I used. Snapchat would be like 11, 11 30, throw up the lamest fucking picture you could throw up of like <laughs> just any kind of nasty thirst trap and just put like I can't sleep, who's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, when that message come through, <laughs> it is go time. That that's always a classic. Uh, Joe, has you have you ever responded to somebody's "Are you up"? I mean, not "Are you up"? Uh, like a like a picture posted in the stories that's of anything. Mm, no, I have not. <laughs> no one has ever intrigued me. I would say that um, uh, one person who his thirst threat. Well, it wasn't necessarily thirst threat. I would say I would purposely for a specific person, I would do, I would block everybody from my Snapchat story. I only let the one person see the, the like the picture. That's in the I, Hall of Fame. Yes. <laughs> I block that's everybody else. <laughs> let the, let the one person that's and he was, he would swipe up every single time. I was like, <laughs> my mission was always accomplished. <laughs> But you, would, but, but you I've never, never oh, okay, that's what I was gonna say. Like, somebody who just randomly posted it, like, on a story, you've never been like, I'm up or I can't sleep either, or anything like that. No, uh, I've done it, I've done it both ways. I've, I've <laughs> put like the I can't sleep either, but this is before I had emojis, <laughs> and you put the two lines in the, in the... <laughs> <laughs> sometimes <laughs> they didn't even reply, but sometimes it was like, oh, shit, it's going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some nasty shit off before we had emojis. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> no, that was that. And then the Facebook post was my most common. I would always just go on Facebook and put the I can't sleep, who's up? They wouldn't get that like. The second somebody likes it that you find attractive, you go straight to that DM. You can't sleep either, huh? <laughs> That's, nasty. <laughs> That's nasty, bro. <laughs> we all got that off though at some point in time. Cheryl, all I, I, right, because Cheryl was trying to play like she ain't never did shit. You posted <laughs> something. You posted something on a story, hoping that a certain person <laughs> would, would say something back, even yeah. if it wasn't directed. Like even if you didn't block everybody else, oh, you posted something yeah. hoping. There we, there we go. So she said uh, thirst traps too. I'm not gonna cap, and they work every time. I remember once. I remember once. Be nice. <laughs> I remember once he said trying to get my attention. I was like, but ain't nobody thinking about you. And then that's exactly what I was. I was like, hey, oh yeah. <laughs> they definitely get that shit off. Every time they said that to me. No, they meant that shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, talk your shit, bro. No, they, <laughs> meant, that. <laughs> they meant that shit. Would you uh would you put the um uh the thirst trap and they didn't see it? Which which she doesn't, she doesn't know apparently. But I would put them <laughs> and then the person that you hope sees it. They see it, but they don't give a fuck. They don't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't like, damn. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, I'll be honest. I'll give the nastiest third step I ever said. This is nasty. This is bad. <laughs> I don't know if I should. <laughs> One time. No, nah, fuck that. All right, no, no, no. We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. <laughs> we'll move on. It could be. No, all right, all right. One time. I'll, I'll Your world, squirrel. I'll live and buy it. I'll live and die by this. One time, many, many moons ago, this was right after I graduated high school. I once, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say the country, <laughs> but there was once, <laughs> there was once that I posted something on a Snapchat story because I knew this person would see it. And I was like, yo, we got to come together. <laughs> 
and, and normalize black and bleep relationships. This nigga here. <laughs> Not you using. I try. I try to save the world this to get her attention. To save the world. <laughs> for a thirst trap. Oh, boy, I got one for you. It didn't, it, didn't, it didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. It didn't work. Say, I'm trying to bring us together. <laughs> unity. It didn't work. It didn't What's work. Unity. Oh my God. Wow. It did. It, did. it definitely Let's did see. not work. Not you. Not you it trying to use work. the world problems. Get you some ass. Oh yeah. And during that, <laughs> so, this is the, this is the na- <laughs> this is the nastiest part. Was during that time there was a real problem, and I meant it. I did mean what I said, but like it was like, yo, I hope she, I hope she sees it. I hope she sees where my heart's at. <laughs> Yo, that's <laughs> all right, Brie. Why don't you tell us about the time that you tried to <laughs> that you tried to do some shit? Don't be trying to do shit. Right, Look, right, my cut yeah, off after after 10 30, 11 o'clock. I'll be like, man, people sleep. <laughs> I'll be in the bed. You I'll be in the bed by 9 10. Yeah, by 10, 9 o'clock, it's like it's too late. Have Ain't you no ever res- have you ever responded to the person that said I can't sleep? Have you ever? Ever in your life, when they said I can't sleep, said me either, or hit the message or no. anything, never, never had that courage, brother. That's crazy. They weren't gonna not receive my message because I was gonna be hurt. <laughs> they didn't reply to me. So, <laughs> I <in> the situation. <laughs> we're we're pretty much uh, past this topic, but I will say this: I had a friend one time, and uh, <laughs> I'm glad he doesn't listen to this podcast. One time, he told me. <laughs> And this was when uh, Valero was popping. I guess it still is in that small town. Hey. But uh, the thing to do used to be to go late night over to Valero and just get drinks and shit. There was always people that you knew there, too. So you just, like, post up. We were so fucking mm-hmm. lame. Uh, <laughs> we were so fucking lame. Uh, we went down to Valero one night. And he liked the girl behind the register. Because when you pull up in the parking lot, you can see who's behind the register. And he was like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get her number. I was like, all right, bro. Like, this is nasty dude, because I'm a hater. I ain't gonna lie. I was eight. Uh, I was like, all right, go do. It. I said, I, but it was one of those. All right, I hear you. you ain't gonna do shit. But he was like, no, nah, I got this. So we get in line, and I, I, I got two stories for y'all with the same dude. Um, he goes in there, and we get to the counter. I'm standing behind him, and I'm waiting for him to see what he's gonna say. So he's sitting there. It's almost like he's thinking of it. I'm like, damn, bro, why didn't you think of something before you got to the counter? Out of nowhere. I don't know. Maybe this isn't this bad at 29. We got Cheryl here to see. But at the time, maybe I was just a hater. I, and I was a hater, but this could be wild. Uh, she was bringing it up and he's just talking. He's like, uh, he said, yo, <laughs> I like your nails. And at that moment, I just busted out laughing. And I was like, you had all that time to think and you told her that you like your nails. So I bust out laughing. Now she's laughing behind the counter. And I probably made it worse than what it was. Damn. But I was a hater. Cheryl, was I a hater or would you think that shit was weird? No, if that was somebody's pickup line, Gene? Oh, if somebody did that, I, I mean, I would think that, oh, they're kind of shy. They're, that's probably all they said. And I just like, oh, please. But you would have felt he was lame. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm still lame. <Yeah. laying. laughs> Um, ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, personally, no, probably not. Because people, some dudes have told me they like my nails before, and I was just like, oh, okay. And I would be happy because I'm like glad somebody noticed. Damn, uh, so I was hating. Yeah, so you was hating. <laughs> you were just hating in the background laughing. You made it worse when you started I laughing. Because then she I was like, oh, this nigga here. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fucked it up for him. Dang. Yeah. yeah, he didn't say anything after we laughed. But she said thank you. She wasn't, no, she wasn't rude. I think she only laughed because I started laughing and made it weird. But she said thank you. She said thank you so much. Like she was nice about it. She wasn't like an asshole. Uh, all right. But all right, I got him here. <laughs> Look at me still going. All right. Last, this, is, this is the last story y'all getting for me. I, uh, there was one time we were at this party and there was a girl. Look, this is nasty. It ain't just laugh at him. Y'all can laugh at me. I was on some wild shit. But Bree knows. Look at me. Every time I start going down, I start putting other people down with me. Bree knows. He's been in this situation too. <laughs> this was at that young. This was at that young age where everybody who was getting ass, you try to stick around, just in case. Like she was like, "Yo, you can like get next." You know what I'm saying? So anytime some shit was going down, you were always there. Bree, don't tell me I was alone. Whoa, well, hold on. You said this was you were sticking around this girl because she was giving out ass. And yeah. you were just hoping she would throw I you was, some. I was in the I was in the car. That's, <laughs> what? It was, it was three of us in a car. What? 
I was in the back seat. <laughs> Because you don't know, because at that age, look, guys, look at 30, this sounds wild. But when you're young, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody. We're yeah, she like, might be for the crew. We didn't Obviously. act like there wasn't a yeah. girl that everybody was no, sneaking that, in and out of she her. She for the crew. Yeah. There, was, there was a girl that was her Access, grandma. 20, 24 hours. What was her grandma, blind or deaf? I can't remember, but dudes was going in the window as a group. I wasn't Dude, a part of that. I was not a part of that. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> not the I'm window. just saying, like, I wasn't the only one on some wild stuff. I'm taking Grandma? everybody down. Give me, give me names. Give me names. I'm taking everybody with me. These niggas sneaking through the windows. <laughs> everybody with me. No, okay, but I'm in the back seat, and I'm like, okay, he plays his cards right. Like I'm being cool. Like we're all laughing, having a good time. I'm being cool. I'm gonna be like after he get done, he get out the car, and I'm next. Uh, but he's talking to her. I'm sitting in the back seat, and I'm, I'm and I'm making it worse. I'm not gonna lie. I'm being a hater, but he was really on some weird shit. He was like. <laughs> He was like, and shout out to his friend. If he ever hits this, he knows I love him. We're just cracking jokes. Uh, <laughs> he, I remember him talking to her and stuff like that. He's like doing the thing like with his hands, like, so what's up? And I'm like, oh yeah, he's about to, he's about to spit that shit. All I got to do is chill. Because even in like worst case scenario, I don't get none, but I got to watch. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like porn. So like, you're like, and at that age, that was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like it was different. So... <laughs> I'm in the backseat <laughs> killing. And uh, he starts talking to her or whatever, just normal conversation. I'm like, okay, cool. It's like, at this point, I'm analyzing his game. And uh, out of nowhere, he just asks, like, it gets kind of quiet. So you can tell it's getting like real awkward. Uh, so I'm, uh, this is such hate. I was in the backseat, like, come on, going up there. And she's laughing. And I mean, like, she's laughing in a disrespectful way. And it, it, now, as an older, it's like, Damn, fucked I, was up. I was fucking up. But I, I guess the pressure was on at that point. And he asked her, he said, what's your favorite basketball team? And I fucking lost it in the backseat. I was like, bro, what the fuck? And this is the exact words I said. What the fuck are you doing? So now she's up there dying laughing. She said, Anthony, you got to stop. And I was like, yo, I fucking up. And he was just like, I like, uh. He kept going. I guess he didn't want to like break down and like, so he was just sticking with it. And he was just like, uh, I'm like, and the whole time in the backseat, I'm like, that boy yeah. brought out the truth. That was yeah. his Trump card. I'm like, bro. <laughs> did I say his name? You did. Hey, y'all, y'all edit that out. <laughs> y'all edit that out. You gotta let I just realized I did that. Y'all gotta edit the name out. Y'all put my boy game know. all out in the streets. Dude, I did. That's fucked up. <laughs> Bleep the name out. <laughs> oh, snap. See, this is why I can't tell stories. Y'all make sure y'all bleep that name out. Um, <laughs> long story short, like, I'm ready to get out of here now before I take everybody down. Uh, long story short, nobody got any. She got out the car laughing the whole time. And I, was, I was mad that he fucked it up for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> but you wow. were in the back laughing. <laughs> I, was, I was. I was. Okay. Well, that's the way. Story time's over. This is what happens when I share stories. <laughs> always getting some shit. <laughs> ways to bleep. Like, y'all can keep all this part in, but y'all have ways to bleep names? Is that a thing? Uh-huh. Do oh. that. That's funny as shit with people. I don't. Do oh, you don't? I can, uh, no, I can just skip. It'll skip over, though. I mean, I yeah, can. Yeah, you can do the skip over. But sure, I'll put the bleeps. That should be funny in podcasts. Yeah, that's happens. hilarious. The bleeps. Yeah, put the bleeps. <laughs> I got you. Bleeps. This is, see, this is what the editor is for. Uh, all right. I think we got through our topic. Brady, do you have a topic you wanted to get through? Did we get to everything? Uh, oh, we didn't hit. We don't. I guess we run through the sports real fast. Brady okay. sports. Let me hit this real fast. Oh, Brady got the sports. Dun, 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 dun. On uh, this episode, we got a uh, NFL kickoff. This starts this week. Actually, today is, well, to, to, if you listen to this tomorrow, you will be you will seen the first NFL game. It's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Cowboys. Expect some ass hoopings for the Cowboys. Oh, so, 1,000%. Uh, 1, they should stay uh, at home, to be real. I don't know if we got season predictions. We want to run through them real fast. We can just give our uh, Super Bowl picks. Everybody got – everybody want to – we can run. Yeah, let's do that. My, my prediction is that uh, – I don't know what kind of predi- – like how many predictions you want to do, but I, my prediction is Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl again. That's my okay, opinion. I'm cool with that. We can just do Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm just with Super Bowls. Yeah, just Super okay. Bowl picks. Tom Brady, your guy? Yeah, what's up? I can tell you yeah. they're going to win. I can tell you Cowboys are going to be hot ass again. And let me tell you, a Cowboy fan, something. They're going to be hot ass for the next 30 years. So Yo. there's no point in getting hyped for it. 
That's the, my prediction for the next 30 years on this they, podcast. They are yo, ass. Bro, they've been hot ass since I was since before I was born. 1996, actually, to be precise, was the last time they won a championship. Yes. I was in the womb. Yes. My team has so, never won a championship. Uh, I mean, I can't. I mean, we've been to one at least since uh, the Cowboys had. Two. two that's done twice. Two. Yes. Uh, so uh, I got a. Uh, I got Kansas City uh, winning the Super Bowl this year. Okay. Same two teams. Versus, yeah, it'll be it'll probably be versus Tampa Bay versus Chiefs. That's who I got. Cheryl, you got a pick? You got some? Uh, I don't. I mean, I like the I like the Seahawks, but okay. You want to pick the Detroit Lions? <laughs> okay, well, we all know they're not. <laughs> That's my home. I still, if they do win, I'll still root for them. If they win a game, I'll be like, "Oh, bro, they won." Uh, but let be real. But I do really like the uh, Seahawks. Okay, <laughs> Seahawks for the Super Bowl. We got Seahawks. We got Tampa Bay. And we got who did I say? I said the Chiefs. Yeah, you did so, say the Chiefs. And uh, early, 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 early congratulations! You played yourself to whoever's picking the Cowboys to win the Super Bowl. Anybody who picked the Cowboys to. Uh, Linda. Yeah. yeah, congratulations. That shit's wild. Uh, also, women, if they are cowboy fans, they're sick. So that's your warning there, too. <laughs> <laughs> they're what? sick. They're sick. <laughs> There's something off. <laughs> they're, the cowboy fans are the ones sending the messages that sure. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have to put that past them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they are delusional. So, uh, oh, very, very much so. That's wild. Shout out to the, shout out to the Cowboys. Shout out to the whole uh, Cowboy Nation. Uh, I don't think I got anything else for Brie versus Sports. I'm trying to think of anything else sport related that came on. Uh, nah. Yeah. Oh, much. I actually got one more thing. It's a, it's okay. a show, though. It's a sports show. Mm-hmm. Uh, Coach Prime. It's called Coach Prime. It's uh, Deion Sanders. It's his, his his show. It's on Barstool. I watch it on Hulu. I mean, on, uh, I watch it on YouTube. But it just go through. If you ever seen Last Chance, you, it's like uh, I know what it is. Yeah. Well, this is what this show is like, but it's focused on HBCUs, and it's specifically focused on focused on Jackson State University. I like that. Uh, super lit. It's a really good show. Very entertaining. Uh, it's just fun. Sh- show some awareness. Grow some. Uh, get some awareness on the uh, HBCU uh, athletics and stuff like that. Colleges and so. Uh, shout out to that show. You got time. Go check it out. Coach Prime. Nice. Coach Prime over on Hulu. Uh, No, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. YouTube, yeah. All right. Well, I think uh, think that'll do it. I think we had a a really good episode today. I think we'll have Cheryl back on next episode. Cheryl, is that true? Put her on the spot? Uh, Yeah, I'm down. It was fun. (laughs) Okay, we can uh, bring her back with a special guest again on the on the next one and uh y'all can find me over on twitch at anthony thomas streams with a z on the end and then you can get all my socials from there you uh you can find me on twitter at breed boy 25 you can also find the podcast on twitter at cricket lens pod once again that is at cricket lens pod and that is on twitter okay sure do you want them to follow you on anything sure um my instagram and my twitter is Share Bear, S E H Y R M Bear, like build a bear. And uh, yeah, there you go. And I'll leave you with this gem. Tupac once said, I got shot five times, but I'm still breathing, living proof as a god if you need a reason. That verse should have been on Donda. Tupac also said, which is my vibe, <laughs> which is my vibe today. Tupac also said, You pull your strap on me, you better kill me. Thug life, mm. baby. And that's where okay. I feel. You pull your strap on me. <laughs> yeah. like, you know it's wild down there, brother. I mean, I ain't. Oh, yeah, they've been, they've been doing a lot. I take, I take it out. I take <laughs> it out. Never mind. But that is my vibe. You pull your strap on me, you better kill me. Uh, yeah, shout out to Tupac. All right, guys, with that, I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye.